All right, so today for the demo, we're going to continue with this picture. Remember, we're making a hybrid of the bird and the frog. So the first step was to use this cutout mask tool. And we erased parts of the bird, parts of the frog, and then we also erased the background from each picture. I think it was Monday I added this back leg to the frog also. Just thinking about the different ways we can hybridize this so that parts of the animal are from one species and parts are from another species. I think today what I'm going to do is add some wings to this frog. So I already have a picture that I looked up of a swan with some wings. I'm going to copy this picture. So if, oh, let me go back. If you click and hold on your Chromebook, I think it should give you the option to either save the image or copy the image. I'm just going to copy it and then come over here and hold control and press V as in violet and that's going to paste my image. You could also go up to edit at the top and go down to paste. So now it's pasting my swan picture in. You can see that it's definitely not the right size yet and it's not in the right order. So it's kind of covering up my frog all the way but I can see like the foot on top of it. So I'm going to get it to start with to be the right place. If you're having issues right there where I was trying to move the swan picture, but it clicked on the bird, you can go up to the settings in your tool and click off of this auto select layer that will let you pick a layer in your layers panel on the side. And when you go to move it, it only selects that picture. It doesn't select a different picture. So if I click on my bird layer, I could click anywhere on the picture and move my bird layer. And again, that's with auto select turned off up here in the settings. And I'm on this tool that's the arrow on the top left hand corner. So once I have my swan at least somewhere where I want it, I'm going to use the same scissors tool to zoom in and start erasing the background around everything except the wings of the swan because I don't want to keep actually the swan's body or its head. I really just want to save the wings of the swan. I can zoom in and out to make sure that I'm getting everything cut out carefully. In this picture, I want my frog to actually look like he has the second wing from the swan, but it has the swan neck as part of the picture that I don't want. In order to fix that, I'm going to use the clone tool. Make sure source is clicked and then click where on the picture you want to clone. And now I can draw over this other part of the wing. I'm gonna click source and choose a little bit different of an area. Make my brush a little bit smaller. 
and then it's copying from one pic part of the picture to another. So if I click right here, you can see it's making a copy of that portion of the picture. So I can make it look like the wing is going out to the side instead of having that portion of the neck there. And again, I'm using this cutout mask. I'm going to cut out everything except the part that I want to keep. 